Hey guys, Lulu here with Fabricated Pixels, and I just wanted to do a quick chat about ironing. So a lot of um, slicers nowadays have an ironing setting, and I just wanted to walk you through some of my own ironing settings so that you guys can kind of try to see what you might want to dial in for your own projects. This here is no ironing. No ironing whatsoever. You can hear it. It's kind of scratchy. It's pretty rough. You can see all those layer lines. Here is the standard ironing settings. If you don't adjust anything in Bamboo Studio, this is what you get. This is um, on topmost layer. So this is my topmost layer, and this is what it's ironing. I've got rectilinear setup, which you can only do on flat models. We've got a speed of 30, and then um, flow is at 10 with line spacing at 15 millimeters and ironing inset at 21 millimeters. So this is just basic, you click ironing, this is what you get. This here, I've kind of tweaked a little bit. The only thing I went from was speed 30 to speed 20, and you can still see the layer lines. Here is the last setting I'm gonna go ahead and mention. Really smooth here, really smooth. You can still see layer lines regardless of ironing. Here we've got rectilinear again. We've got a speed of 60, flow of 20, and I didn't change the line spacing. So here's a 15 millimeter line spacing with an ironing inset, which just means like that's right here. This is where it's 21 millimeters, 0.21 millimeters from the edge is when it's gonna start doing its ironing. And you can see that all the way around. Pretty smooth, but there are definitely still some visible layer lines. So this is what I like to do with resin. I'm not really trying to hide layer lines. I'm giving it a beveled, polished look. So I add a top coat of UV resin. I hit it underneath a UV light for about five minutes, and there you have it. Resin versus ironing. Just different. Thanks for watching, guys.